Hello, how you doing? Lorenzo with Gratham Baseball here with Christian Vasquez, Boston Red Sox. Catcher, phenomenal 2019, great defensive catcher. Now he's one of the better offensive catchers in the American and National League. Uh, we're going to ask him two questions. Q and A, we're going to keep it real. First question for Christian Vasquez. Christian, what was the difference between 2018 and 2019? From a catching perspective, from a hitting perspective, what do you felt was the difference for you to have such a breakout year last year? Yeah, it's a big difference. I think uh, 2018 we won the championship, uh, but personally, you know, my 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 year was up and downs. You know, I get hurt of my 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 pinky hand, and and you know, it was a struggling year for hitting and and catching too. You know, is I hit like 207, you know, with three homers and... You were on the injured, you were injured a couple times, right? Yeah, one time that year. How many weeks were you off or was it weeks or months? Uh, one month, one month off. Uh, I got surgery in my, my, my finger. Which is tough for timing, and especially with hitting, to get your rhythm back? Yeah, it's, it's, it was tough, you know, injuries, you, you can control that, uh, you know, that's happened. You know, you need to take care of that and, you know, I did. So 2019, new season. We know you made some changes in the off season. You came to Gratham, you made we made some swing changes. What do you think happened in the box? When did it, you know, when do you say, okay, I needed to make this change, this change now is working, and when did it click for you that you knew, hey, I'm gonna be a good offensive player this year? Yeah, I started with you guys in the in the offseason. I feel great that year, you know, it was a big change of my swing. Uh, but when, when spring training come, you know, that's the, the big test for the hitters, you know, I think. I know that the numbers don't matter there, you know. I'm going to be the starting catcher that year and, and, you know, I'm not making the team, you know, like I, I'm in the team. So I'm trying to find my way to, to feel this in the games and, and, and it was tough, tough spring training, you know, I get like three hits all, all spring training. I was a little bit frustrated, a little bit, but when the season start, uh, I hit the first homer in Seattle. I never hit a homer in, in April, so I was happy with that. And, and I think after that, uh, maybe two weeks after that, I feel the, the click in my swing that I hit a double to right center. And it was, man, you know, it's- Come back to the spring training, because I remember seeing you facing Schwarzer over here at the Nationals Park at, at 15 Park. When you were frustrated, did you have a doubt like, man, is this going to work? Is this not going to work? What, what do you think kept you focused to say, look, let me keep doing this because I know I'm going to have success doing it? What do you think, you know, mentally, what was your thought process? I'm a very positive player in my mind. I'm very strong. I got my, my mind strong. And I think, you know, I don't have nothing to lose. You know, I, I hate 207. I need to... Trust you guys, what you said, you know, keep going and, and keep working with the swing. And I think that helped me to keep working at this swing, you know, the launch angle and all that drills we did. And, and, you know, like I said before, you know, when the season starts a different atmosphere, you know, you feel the, the tension of the game. And you, yeah, you need, you, you're trying to help the team win. And, and, and I think that helped me to keep going and, and you know, it's after that, after, after Seattle uh, series, uh, two weeks after that, you know, I feel the click. I think I, I can attest to his mental strength. I think a lot of um, fans or, or, you know, coaches front office, just people in baseball in general, I think the mental part of the game is huge, how strong mentally that player is to go through failures. Again, when you look at hitting, you're going to fail seven out of ten times. So if you fail that much, how strong are you to handle that failure? And I think the guys that are more inclined to understand what that failure is about and, and that they're going to fail and that they're mentally strong, they're going to have success. And I know, you know, working with Christian and how he, he performed throughout the year, he wasn't worried about an 0 for 4. He wasn't worried if he went 0 for 8. He knew he was going to bounce back. And a lot of great hitters have that mentality. They know they're not going to do well every day, but they, like you said, turn the page or flush it down the toilet, tomorrow's another game and I'm gonna get after it. Okay, question we ask all our players and we come across. As a baseball player, what do you wanna start doing? What do you wanna stop doing? What do you wanna keep doing 
as a baseball player to keep improving? Let's start with start. What do you want to start doing? I want to start doing, I want to hire a, a chef. My nutrition is very important for all ba baseball players. Applications being accepted, email Christian Vasquez. <laughs> yeah, and nutrition is very important for every athletic, you know, for basketball, every, every sport. You know, if you don't eat well, you know, you, your stamina and all your muscle is going to go down. You know, it's, it's, that's the truth. So that's, I want to start doing it better, hiring uh, a chef, and, you know, I think that's going to help me to perform better every day. Question, do you think it's what you eat or do you think the times that you eat because of your schedule? See, people don't realize. So let's say, Christian, you got a 7 o'clock start today at Fenway. Christian Vasquez is already working as of 9 in the morning. He's probably hitting already, you know, in the cage, getting some work in. Then he does all his physical, you know, uh, training, you know, and getting loose. Then he goes through meetings. So, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a 12, 14-hour job. So do you think it's what you're eating or is it the times that you eat? What do you think is what, what hurts you on the eating part? I think we travel a lot. So we get to the rooms at 2 a.m. in the morning. The only stuff you have is pizza, burgers, something like that, you know. Even at the big league level, true, 2 in the morning, you get to a hotel. What's, so what's room a, service, you know. What's available? A burger, pizza? Bad, bad food, you know. It's, that's to get up and, and, and perform the high high level in you know the next day, that's not the food you want. So it's it's tough, but we need to. Okay, so great. What do you need to stop doing? What do you feel as a player you need to stop doing? Like I said, uh, well like we talked before, you know, I think the mental stuff when 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 you get frustrated, you know, it's it's tough. You you're gonna get frustrated in the season one time. And I think we need to stop doing that because, you, like I said, is you need to turn the page and keep working hard, get in the morning and, and keep working. Huh? What do you feel you need to keep doing? Like, hey, I need to keep doing this so I can perform at a high level and continue to get better. What do you think you should keep doing? Keep doing, I think, keep doing my stuff here in the cage. You know, don't change your routine. You know, if something's working you're never gonna change that routine you know is is learn yourself and 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 i'm never gonna stop doing this because if this work i'm gonna keep doing a lot of fans don't don't know in your off season when do you when are you when are you already up and running and when are you already working out so you work out in the morning correct yes. what time are you working out i start at seven seven and eight i do my running in the field and from eight to nine, I do my work on the gym. Okay. And after the workout, I'm coming here. Okay. So, I mean, as a player, think about this. He's, he's an elite level catcher at the major league level. He's in his off season, 7 a.m. He's already up and running. You know, I always have a saying, you know, everybody has heard this before. You're either a lion or a gazelle. The lion's running to something. The gazelle's running from something. Definitely a lion. He's running every day. He wakes up in the morning and he's running to get better. Guys, Christian Vasquez, one of the better role models in baseball, one of the great guys in baseball, has a great story, works his butt off, has earned everything he's gotten. Congratulations and a big 2020. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Right on baseball, Dolly.